Hi everyone, I'm Jason from Block Outlines and I hope your day is going well. I'm here to talk to you today about how the inside of your house heats up and how blinds and awnings can help this and also the myth about how thick the fabric on your blinds needs to be to, um, to help keep the heat out. Um, we got a lot of customers, they look at a fabric and the fabric's not very thick and they start to think, well, how is this going to keep out the heat of my home? It's not thick enough. Well, end of the day, it doesn't really matter. So let's start with how the house heats up. First of all, the air in the environment, it never gets heated up directly by the sun passing through it, believe it or not. So the sunbeams come down, they're going through the air, the air itself does not heat up. The, the air heats up by a process of convection, which means that the air needs to be touching some type of uh, solid object that has heat in it to in turn heat up the air. Now when it comes to your home, the sun comes in, hits the glass, what happens? The glass gets really hot, you can touch the glass and yes, feel the heat. So in turn what that does is the hot surface of the glass then comes in contact with the air inside your home. That air then heats up. And of course, what does hot air do? It rises. So the hot air touching the glass rises up, and as that rises up and hits the roof, more cold air comes in from underneath to touch the glass. It in turn heats up, rises up, and creates a cycle. It's a little bit like having a, a mini weather system inside your home, believe it or not. Now of course, it doesn't just heat up from the glass. The sun comes in, it hits the floorboards. The floorboards get hot. They heat the air up. Your furniture gets hot. It touches the air and heats up the air as well. So anything that has direct sunlight on it in your home and in turn heats up, it then directly transfers the heat to the air in your home, creating the inside to get hotter and hotter and hotter. So, how do blinds stop this? Well, first of all, you have your internal blinds. As I said before, the, the, uh, the um, as I as I said before, the air is touching the glass and heating up. Now, by putting a blind on the inside, it creates a barrier. So the first thing is the air that heats up, it gets trapped between the glass and the blind and doesn't recirculate back into the room, hence stopping more air from coming in. Now, of course, blinds are not fully sealed all the way around, so some air escapes, but it dramatically reduces it. So also what happens is when you've got your blinds down, the sun no longer hits the floor, it no longer hits the furniture, so these items no longer heat up, and in turn, don't heat up the air. So the myth that you need thick fabric to reduce the temperature in your home is false because all the blind is doing is stopping the, the uh, direct sunlight coming inside and it's just creating a barrier to stop the air flowing around the home. Now of course if you have a blind that has um, just one solid piece of material that's going to do a much better job than a Venetian blind that has lots of slats and gaps because with the gaps, more airflow. Of course, anything with the palmet over the top is going to be even better again because it stops the air flowing up from behind the blind up, up behind it to, uh, to the roof. So that sort of in a nutshell is, is how it works. Now of course, the sun is going to be hitting the back of the blind. Now the blind itself will also be heating up. So once that blind gets hot, the blind itself will also start heating up the air inside. Now it takes a while for the blind to heat up. So if you're really trying to uh, reduce the heat of your home, you probably want to go for a lighter coloured blind. Or we do have fabrics available that are dark on the inside, so in other words it matches your interior, but the back of the blind is white to maximise the reflection of the sun. So white reflects more, black obviously absorbs more. A white back means your fabric's not gonna get hot, so when you touch the fabric on the inside, you won't feel the heat as much. Now, of course, the best way to reduce heat is to put awnings or some type of covering on the outside of your home. Why is that? Good question. 
Um, of course, if the sun is not hitting the glass in the first place, the glass is not going to get hot and no heat is going to transfer inside. So best option for heat, something external like an awning. Second option is our internal blind. Um, probably one of the best internal blinds for heat is uh, a honeycomb blind. We'll talk more about that later. But I just wanted to give a bit of an insight about how the home does heat up and the fact that, you know, really the thickness of your fabric doesn't make much difference. It's just really about creating that barrier to stop the air circulation. So I hope that's helped you. And uh, until next time.